Dear students, greetings for the day. Today we will study about sewing tools and equipment. Objectives To know about different types of sewing tools and equipment. To familiarize with the uses of each sewing equipment. Sewing tools and equipment. An essential prerequisite for sewing is the availability of appropriate sewing equipment and tools. These are needed for sewing to aid in construction of garments of good quality and appearance. The equipment or tools are broadly categorized into 1. Measuring 2. Marking 3. Cutting 4. General tools 5. Pressing tools A box with compartments is necessary to arrange these tools in one place. One point zero measuring tools. Measuring tools are essential for accurate sewing. They are one point one measuring tape, one point two small ruler, one point three yard stick or meter scale, one point four tailor's L scale, one point five hem gauge, one point six hem marker. One point one measuring tape. A firm good quality tape which will not stretch after use is to be selected. It is usually about one half inch to one quarter inch wide and 60 inches long, and has one eighth divisions. It has centimeter markings along other edge. At one end of the tape is attached a metal strip about three inches long and at the other end, a small metal covering. One point two rulers, these are used for measuring and marking straight line of a garment. There are two types of rulers, one is a small ruler of one inch wide and six inches long divided into one eighth or one sixteenth divisions on one side and centimeters on the other side, second one is of two inches wide and twelve inches long. Generally small rulers are made of clear plastic and larger rulers with metal, wood and plastic. A transparent ruler of good quality is useful because it enables grain or pattern of the fabric to show through. Small rulers are used for measuring small distances for tucks, hem facings, etc. and used at the sewing machine. The larger rulers are used at the work table and generally 18 inches long. One point three yard stick or meter scale. These may be wooden, plastic or metal. It is available in thirty six inches or forty five inches in length. They are useful for checking grain lines when fixing pattern pieces on material and for drawing long seam lines on fabric or paper. One point four tailors L scale. It has arms or sides made of metal giving it an L shape. The long arm measures twenty four inches, the short arm fourteen inches. This has a perfect right angle corner and is used to draw lines at right angles at the time of drafting. It is helpful during the process of straightening the fabric to check whether the corners of the fabric are right angles to each other. 
1.5 hem gauge, a gauge is a measuring guide for marking the width of the hems, pleats, tucks, top stitching lines and seam allowances accurately. It can be made for any measurement according to the pattern requirements. It can be prepared from a cardboard piece. A small gauge of 7.5 by 3.5 cms can be easily handled and all measurements should be labeled. Notches are provided at regular intervals along the gauge. One edge of the notch is at right angles to the straight edge of the gauge while the other edge is slanted. While measuring or marking, use the straight edge of the notch as the guide. One point six hem marker. Hem marker is a tool generally used by professional dressmakers. It provides much faster and accurate method of marking hem lines. Skirt markers come in various types: pin markers, chalk markers, and combination pin chalk markers. For more accuracy, pin marker is generally used. The chalk marker is convenient to mark the hem of the wearer by themselves. It can be adjusted to any hem length. Two point zero marking tools. These are generally used for transferring the paper pattern onto the fabric. Two point one tracing wheel. Two point two dressmakers carbon or tracing paper. Two point three tailors chalk. 2.1 Tracing Wheel This is a sharp toothed wheel used with dressmakers carbon to transfer pattern markings to cloth. It transfers the pattern markings including seams, darts, and pocket placements to the wrong side of the fabric. The small serrated edge tracing wheel is appropriate for most fabrics. A smooth edge tracing wheel is used on fine or knit fabrics to avoid pulling of the yarns. It can be tested to make sure that it does not bend easily and that the points are not blunt. 2.2 Dressmakers Carbon or Tracing Paper It is a wax-coated paper on one side and is available in different colors. It is used with the tracing wheel to transfer pattern markings such as lines, darts, pleats, etc. from paper patterns to the fabric being cut. Earlier blue and black colors were extensively used, but presently pink, green, yellow and white colors are also available. Care must be taken while using the carbon paper no to mark the lines boldly. It should just show on the material. It is customary not to use dark carbon papers on light colored materials as well thin, sheer or transparent materials. 2.3 Taylor's Chalk It is made of wax or stone chalk or clay, is used to transfer seam lines and other pattern details to fabric. It is also used for marking fitting adjustments and hems. A wax chalk is acceptable only for woolen fabric. Stone chalk can be used for all other fabrics. It is available in pencil form also. The stone chalk is available in assorted colors like blue, pink and white and in rectangular or triangular shapes. Taylor's chalk can be used safely on fabrics as it does not leave any permanent stain on fabrics. The marking can easily be removed by simple brushing. 
3.0 cutting tools, all types of shears and scissors are made for both right-handed and left-handed cutting. All cutting tools must be kept sharp, clean, and grease-free for accurate cuts. The tools include 3.1 scissors, 3.2 dressmakers shears or bent handle shears, 3.3 pinking shears, 3.4 buttonhole scissors, 3.5 electric shears, 3.6 rotary cutters. Three point one scissors, they are five to six inches long. They are used for light cutting, trimming, clipping corners, and cutting curves. Round handles are present for both the blades. They are designed for snipping threads, trimming seams, embroidery threads, and for cutting holes. Sharp pointed scissors with blades one half inch to one inch long are very useful. The best types have blades of uneven width. They should be held so that the wider blade is above the narrower blade. Three point two dress makes shears or bent handle shears. Shears are eight to ten inches long. They are used for cutting all types of fabrics. Shears can be more satisfying than scissors. Shears differ from scissors in that they have one small ring handle for the thumb and a large ring handle for the second, third and fourth fingers. Also, the blades are different on either side of the shears. It is better to select shears made of high quality steel and having blades joined with a bolt or screw rather than a rivet. The shears should not be dropped down. Protecting the shears from rusting is necessary. Three point three pinking shears. They are nine to ten inches long. They create a ravel-resistant finish to raw edges of firmly woven fabrics when the seam allowance is left unfinished. They produce a notched cutting line, zigzag, which gives a neat appearance to the inside of garments. They are available in different lengths and in a variety of types. Sharpening the blades is difficult and so some manufacturers provide an extra set of blades to replace the used blunt blades. 3.4 Buttonhole Scissors These can be adjusted so as to cut buttonholes in any size required. They are useful if one needs to make many buttonholes in a garment. These scissors have notched blades, which make it possible to start cutting at a point away from the edge of the fabric. 3.5 Electric Scissors These shears are used in most sample rooms. They are ideal for cutting silk, nylon, and soft, hard-to-cut fabric. These are light in weight and easy to operate. 3.6 Rotary Cutter It requires more handling skill than shears. It cuts patterns and samples faster than scissors do. The Rotary Cutter cuts all fabrics as well as leather and vinyl. Rotary Cutters are used in commercial garment industries. 3.6 